Hello everybody. Hey. We're gonna do another review for you today. Now, this is called a clutch claw. It's something, I think, did, does this get the price of your insurance down as well? I never mentioned it. They did ask what other security things have you got and I forgot to mention I bought theirs. So I do believe it will bring the insurance down slightly. I think it maybe yeah. not for us in this because of full time living in this. It's yeah. like a standard price you have to pay. There's only one insurance company will do it for us. But with any other insurance company, I think if you have something like this, um, it might reduce your insurance. Mm -hmm. And we want obviously want as much security in this van as we possibly can. We've got the yes. best alarm you can think of. And now we've got this, so we're going to try this out. A clutch claw. Now we've seen, we've heard people talk about these in YouTube videos who've tried yeah. them. And apparently it's the only one which bad people cannot get off. <laughs> yeah. They can't, they can't steal your car, they don't know how to get these off. So we've ordered one. What, what were they, £100? It was £99 from the actual company itself and I think about five or six quid delivery. Yeah. So it wasn't too bad. It's worth it for the yeah, price of... It's, it's a really heavy quality item. It is really heavy. Now yeah. I've looked in this, we've both looked in this box at different Briefly. times <laughs> and it scares me. No idea what we're going to do with it. So opening it up, the first thing, the most important thing, the thing I love, it's got stickers. Protected by clutch claw, I don't know if you can see that through there. So they can go on the windows, because I love having stickers in the windows, love it. Yeah. <laughs> so they're going in, some instructions there, don't need them, don't need instructions. And this is the clutch claw. I really don't know what else to say now, because uh, oh. it's just a big bar and I've no idea what to do with it. It looks like a light or something. There is a light on there, yes. How is it powered? It's got a little battery which I believe lasts for something like 12 months. Oh wow, you're just flash. Clever. Oh, okay. Uh, you get four like brass screw rods, four bolts for the end and three keys. And the actual oh. system, this has got foam on the end. Did this come already like this or did you put It came this already like it? this. Right, okay. And that is as far as I know what to do. <laughs> do you know any more? No. No. <laughs> I've, so, I've seen, like I said, I've seen the YouTubers yeah. do it, but... <laughs> okay, we're going to have to read through the instructions and then we'll try and fit it and uh, come back to you. Yeah. This is going to be impossible. No. Shall we take it to Garage? <laughs> garage, you'll know. We'll pay someone to do it. <laughs> Let's have a look at the instructions. One month later. We've been looking through the instructions and we don't know any more than we did at the end of his last clip. Uh, can I just show them that? It's got loads of figures and pictures and stuff on it. And we ain't got a clue what it's talking about. But I do think, Mazzy, the first thing we have to do is take these off. Yeah, they're like spacers. Yeah, these are spacers. Depending on how high your clutch and brake pedal is. Yeah. So let's yeah. just rip this off. Yeah. Hey. Wow, that's heavy. <laughs> that spacer heavy, isn't, isn't coming off. The spacer doesn't... Oh, it is coming. It should do. It's coming. There. So we'll take these off for now. And then we need to get into the front and put it down and then add some spacers or something. Yeah, and that, so you're going to need that as well. And then that goes on. Where, where's and then the keyring ring go? That goes on and then that goes on and then robbers run away i don't know this were a bad idea what we're reviewing this why did we get it because we're gonna use it <laughs> it's like them things you know them puzzles you get at christmas impossible puzzles bits of white like bits, bits of wire of and stuff it's like that so i've looked at the clutch and the claw the clutch claw in great detail i've been reading all the instructions etc so first thing I've decided we should do is get the clutch car claw protected sign and stick it in the window. I think I'll have it there. Beautiful. And to be honest with you, Mazzy. Yeah. Just shut the door. 
Oh, job done. I well think done. that's going to have to do. People won't know. We'll just pretend we've got one on. We've got stickers. Come on, let's do another review. I don't even know which clutch is. Which is brake. ABC, isn't it? So, uh, clutch, a Clutch brake. Yeah, accelerator. Right. Yeah. Now that only just fits there. Does it? Yeah, well, I'm sure it's... Does it go like that? Yeah. yeah but surely you can just slide no, it, it goes... off. I don't know. Do you want me to have a go? I bet I can do it. I beg your pardon? I bet I can do it. Whatever. It's a man's job. Just give <laughs> me to it, yeah? Well, we've just found a little problem. So as far as I'm aware, the clutch claw goes down here and there's this thing here can someone tell us what this is it's the steering column surely see look it's the steering wheel all right yeah well what's that doing there so you can't have a clutch claw that can't no. be right no. anyone want to buy a clutch claw <laughs> <laughs> i don't think it's going to fit mazzy it will it will it will i'll do it i'll do it let me have a go mazzy says she thinks it's easy with me and I'll have it done. <laughs> yeah, you don't look like you know what you're doing. I do. I'm like going to rent garage. Actually, well, that's without spaces. So that's supposed to get under these pedals, and it's not. Yeah, but you can't have it under them pedals anyway, because I won't be able to drive it. Well, that's the whole point. <laughs> I mean, that's the whole point. <laughs> what good is it if I can't drive it? Oh, I don't know what's what. We've decided we need to take this black foam thing off now. It is glued on, so it shouldn't come off. It's either that or you've got to cut it. But I'm thinking if we take this off, then we can use spacers. Yeah, just rip it off. Yeah. Anyone want to buy a clutch claw <laughs> second hand <laughs> slight damage? <laughs> yeah, now we've taken that off, we should be able to put it under the... Uh, yeah, under, under... I don't know. I still don't think it's going to... I don't know. So you've put the tiny spacer on now. I've absolutely no idea what I've done, but it seems to be somewhere down there in the right area. <laughs> well, it seems to be, as long as it, I think it's a tight fit, isn't it? So we've taken the sponge off there. Right, yeah. Because with the sponge on, in fact, it would fit down there, Mazzy. You go like that. No, you... because, no because that bar's got to be under the pedals. Oh, yeah. That bar's got to go underneath, yeah. so with that on, it won't go underneath. No. So, we've taken that off, Yeah. we've just put one little spacer in there, Yeah. and now it will go underneath, hang on, I think it's that way, yeah. it will go underneath and then it will come up. But is it still a tight fit because it can't be, it's... do we need a bigger spacer? We might need a bigger spacer. Right, try a bigger one then. So I'm just going to try a little bit bigger than that, if you get loads of spacers here, in fact, we'll try quite a big one. We'll see if that fits. Yeah, it's a bit big, is that? Do you think? That's a bit big, it won't come up. Oh, okay. So we'll put the smaller one on. Medium one on, yeah. Which is that one. And this should, fingers crossed, be perfect. That's the one. Yeah, is it tight? That's as tight as it's going to be. Yeah. So we've got that bit set up. Now we just need to put the top on it. What are these? What are these bits for then? I don't know. <laughs> Four massive screws here. They must come in handy for something. I don't know. There was holes on that, wasn't there? Yeah, there is holes. Where was the holes again? Maybe the screw in... Oh, God, I don't know. Give me a minute, give me a minute, give me a minute, give me a, ten minutes. This video might be about seven minutes long so far, but I can guarantee we've only been at it about a minute, two minutes maximum. And we don't need instructions, we do don't, We don't need instructions. We've got this under control. This is how to fit a clutch claw. I never unfigured out. <laughs> right, what you need to do, I believe, Let's have a look at the picture to what it's meant to look like. You don't need a picture, <laughs> just trust me, yeah? This is going in here, like so. Right. 
like that, something like that. Now, in the top here, you've mm -hmm. got four bars. You want one at each side of the pedal and okay. one at each side of the pedal. Oh, I see. So I'm going to have to line them up with the holes on here and then get it in place. So just give me a second. Okay. What are the bolts for? You've got don't loose know, bolts there. I don't know what the bolts are for. <laughs> we'll, go, we'll go worry about that later. <laughs> The whole thing seems wobbly. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. The bolts might fit in. No, they don't go there. Don't worry about bolts. We don't need bolts. So you put the whole thing under there. I think. That's it. It's over the pedals. Let me just try locking that. Oh, it's another key I can't use. I don't know how to do keys. I'm, I'm useless with anything which has a key on it. You need instructions to lock it. Lock. <laughs> Leave me alone. What have you done then? What have you figured out? Well, I already knew this. Yeah. You don't need the key to lock it. <laughs> Um, to lock it, I believe, it says you just press the button in once you've got the tightest fit. Oh, there you go. I think it's in. No, it's not. <laughs> I don't know. I, I do not know. I don't know how to get that in. I need to play around with that. It says plunge it in. Well, that's the only plungy thing. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah, you don't need you don't need the light. Um, <laughs> it's just an extra because it like beeps and stuff. But I've got a sticker anyway, so you don't need a light on it. Um, so if you're not bothered about the light, just press the light through the hole there, and that's your problem solved. Oh, you're such a div. So what you have to do to make it lock is basically once it's all in place and you're happy, you just press that in, and if you look in there it locks okay so we'll get around to that bit in a moment but the next thing we have to do which Mazzy forgot to do I thought she'd done it <laughs> is we have to unscrew this and put the bolts I did say there were four bolts which need to go on this as well they go on the other side of this rod on the other side of this plate and in that plate we might find the light which I wasn't going to use but if I can find it I might I might use it now, I'm not sure how this tool case works if I'm being 100% with you it works yeah, but I don't know how to get screws on. Really? Well, how do you do it? I want, I think I want that. I can't get them out. Or rink gear. Oh, it's all right, I've got it. That'll fit. So how do you get that on that? You pop it in it, don't you? Yeah, but you need something, don't you? Something like special. Is it something like um... that? Could be. It'll do. So all we need to do now is unscrew this from both it. <laughs> cut, cut. <laughs> so I've taken the two screws out professionally with a screwdriver -y thingy. Um, and as you can see at the back of here, I now need to attach the bolts. They're going to go on there. Oh. Is your dad in? <laughs> we're we're going to do that in a minute. But I've, I've just found this at the back, which could come in handy. This is a light. <laughs> now what you do is you pull the tab out. Oh. Cut, cut. That wasn't meant to happen. So all you have to do is pull the tab out and it will start flashing. Now that is going to flash on that battery for, I believe, a year. Wow. It's, it says in the instructions it's a year, it might even be longer. And you can obviously get replacement batteries very easy. It's like a watch battery. So, every, in fact, we don't even have to put it on the pedal. Just lay it next to it <laughs> and let that flash. I'll put that next to us, next to a sticker. <laughs> put that next to a sticker, and they'll think it's on. So that I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that on. Might as well now. I've got it. How's that gonna stay in the inside? Does it just stay? It's a sticky. It's got oh, a sticky, it's sticky back. Oh, I see. So now I just need to put these bolts on. 
How do you know which way on the go? Oh my goodness. I've done three. Right. The other one's very stiff. I just need an adjustable spanner. Stick I think thing. it's called a spanner though. Uh, and I was looking in the toolbox. There's nothing like that in there. No. Now we spent a lot of money on this toolbox. What was it? £40 reduced from 60 No, it was reduced from 80 or 90 All right to something right and, and this one that, isn't going to work i tried that <laughs> he tried uh, it mazzy tried that and i said it obviously <laughs> isn't gonna fit and i was looking i was thinking is that all we've got and then i just realized we've got all that behind there look wow wow <laughs> that, that's gonna do the job no i think these are trust me okay <laughs> trust me so i've got the sticks with the lumps all tightened up on mm -hmm. the bar they go back in there like so and then I just have to put the screw with it one in each end tighten them up and we'll get back to the cab I've got that stuck in there I can't get it out <laughs> what do you mean stuck the screwdriver set which they sent me it doesn't fit properly well, maybe, it's a faulty set maybe it wasn't supposed to go in there <sighs> Well done. So if you do get a faulty set of tools, um, all you need to sort it out is two sets of pinchers, one on the screwdriver and one on the holy thing, and pull them apart. <laughs> right, let's crack on. So, now I've set it all up properly, uh, it's ready to go on. So, I'm going to put that in there, Mazzy, yeah. underneath there, and lift it up, yeah? And then I'm going to stick this on top. Goes in the pole there. The prods at each side. Behind the pedals. Behind the pedals. Get yeah. it tight. Oh, yeah. And then press the button. Now, you've just got to get the right opening for the button because there's different holes. Oh, so you might have to slacken it off a little bit or tighten it a little bit. Oh, take it out and try again because it's, there you go. Mazzy. Yeah. That, my friends, get that on me because I just look great. <laughs> that, my friends, is how to fit a clutch claw. Well done. Now, when you want to come to take it off, just to show you, it's a very simple job. You stick the key in there, give it a turn, it's unlocked. It's unlocked. That comes off. And just store that. On your girlfriend's lap until you need it again. Wicked. Pull it all together now. Let's see how like sturdy and everything it is. <laughs> that, is that sturdy? That is not going anywhere. Wow, let me have a go. And it flashes and I've got a sticker on my Wow, window. it slides side to side. Is that meant to do that? Yeah, that's fine. Wicked, that's actually really good. Thank you. Well done. So if you want to get the best security for your van, for your vehicle, for any vehicle, get a clutch claw because, as I say, people have... It's pretty much proven that burglars, people who break into vans, vehicle thief people, that's the one thing they seem to not be able to get off. Every other device which is on the market uh, that can get them off so get yourself a clutch claw and save on your insurance thanks for watching guys see you on the next one say goodbye mazzy bye 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 everyone <laughs> i did it i did it yeah <laughs> buzzing <laughs>